Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all, it is Vlogmas Day 8. Oh, yeah, we're getting along in here. Got eight, seven down, and how many more to go? Y'all do the numbers on that, but this is Vlogmas Day 8. Something I'm going to show y'all very quick, very easy, y'all. It just screams holiday, screams Christmas, because it's got orange and cranberry. You can't go wrong with orange and cranberry. It works so good together, y'all. Orange cranberry bread. It likes to cross between a bread and a cake. Gonna put it in a low pan, slice, uh, put some orange glaze on it, slice it up. Can't get no better than this, y'all, for Christmas. Perfect for a Christmas party, Christmas breakfast. Make French toast out of it, too, y'all. Maybe I'll show you that in a later video. But anyway, y'all, very simple to put together, y'all. Let's get started on this one here. All I'm gonna do, just same way you do a cake, pretty much, on a smaller scale, pretty much. We're going to clean the butter and sugar together. Make sure it's room temperature. Then we're going to add our eggs to it. Then alternate the wet and dry. That's pretty much it, y'all. So anyway, we're going to uh, let this whip or mix up or incorporate for about three or four minutes. We'll come back and we add the, so we can add the eggs to this and get this started. And get this thing started. Vlog was day seven. Just getting started. Be right back. All right, y'all. We back. Now we're going to add our eggs to this, y'all. Scrape it down here a little. all scraped up in here this is so easy to put together you really don't need no stand mixer like this you can actually use a regular mixer all y'all now we're gonna alternate our dry with the wet okay i got the orange juice in here so y'all can see here i got the orange juice and milk in here already i'm gonna put the vanilla in here already so i got all the dry uh, wet in here already now i'm gonna take some of this flour and baking powder mixture and mix it here with the with my cranberries so i'm gonna add i'm gonna fold my cranberries in at the end and the reason I'm doing this, y'all, is so the cranberries doesn't stick to the bottom. So I'm gonna mix this all up, get them coated up as much as I can with the flour. All right. All right, now. Now we're gonna add, alternate our, our dry with our wet here. Y'all know the y'all know the procedure. Start with dry, end with dry. this down here a little very simple very easy recipe y'all line here Wet in there. That's the 
dry. Scrape this down, y'all. zest in here and our cranberries and we're gonna do that by hand okay cranberries in here trying to mix them up we just pour them all in there that flour there don't worry about it that's the flour that's supposed to be in there anyway and we're gonna mix it by hand that way the uh cranberries pretty much won't stick to the bottom now i'm gonna add my orange zest half my orange zest in there the other half we're gonna use for the icing and i add the orange zest by hand because sometimes when you add put it in there with the mixer y'all it sticks all on the beaters and it's just hard to get off and that's it how easy is that y'all how easy was that? Now, I got my low pan here. All greased and ready to go. I'm just gonna put in our low pan right here. How easy is this, y'all? This just screams Christmas. And of course, y'all, y'all can alternate this any way you want. If you wanna put blueberries, you can. Uh, you want to put nuts in here, you can. I mean, just make it your own, y'all. Just make it however you want to make it. All right. Put in the oven, 350 degrees. About 20, 25 minutes it's going to take on this. It ain't going to take that long. And when we come back, we're going to make the glaze for this. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, y'all, we're going to knock this glaze out, which is so simple, y'all. All this orange juice and orange zest. So you be careful when you put the orange juice in there. Don't use it like I did and pour too much. Then your glaze is going to be too thick, thin. Put a little bit more. And of course, if you're too thin, you can always add powdered sugar to it. That's pretty much it, y'all. Think as you want it. And I'm gonna get a spoon. I don't want I just want enough glaze to enhance it. That's pretty much it. Let me get this off of here. Get off of there. Get off of there. Because I'm gonna put this glaze on here while it's warm. And then my zest, like I say, I use a spoon or something because I don't want to use the whisk because the, cause the zest will get stuck in the whip, y'all. And I just take a spoon there. And there we go. We got a nice orange glaze. See that? With the nice orange zest in there. See that? It smells amazing, y'all. Smells absolutely amazing. Okay, y'all, that's it. We're gonna wait till our uh, cranberry bread get ready. We're gonna come to get it out, put it on a uh, sheet pan with a rack where I can glaze it good. I'm gonna glaze it right when it's warm, not hot, but when it's warm. But anyway, we'll be back. Um, we'll be back in a minute. Vlogmas day eight, almost finished. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, I just took it out the oven here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of let it, you know, not cool off too much. But I'm going to kind of let it uh, cool off a little so I can put my glaze on there. If I put the glaze on there right now, 
of course, it's gonna run off too much even though the glaze is thick. So I'm gonna kinda let it sit here a little bit, flip it out, Let's see if I can flip it out right now. Oh yeah, there we go. Flip it out on the pan here and I'm gonna pour all the glaze on there. And I got it on the sheet pan here with a rack so the glaze can just kinda flow over it. So like I said, I wanna let it kinda, you know, cool off a little bit more so the glaze don't run crazy. I, mean, I put it on here now, it's so hot. The glaze is not gonna stick, it's gonna run all over the place. So we'll be back in about 30 minutes, put the glaze on there, we'll slice it up, and I'll prove to y'all how good it is. Vlogmas day eight, I almost finished, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, this is kind of warm, it's not hot anymore. So I'm gonna just kind of just put a little glaze on here, y'all. Nothing fancy. Uh, let it kind of flow and do its thing, y'all. And hopefully it all spread together. So you want it too thick, but not too thick, and you don't want it too thin either. See that? That's what you want. That's what you want, y'all. That's it. I'm going to kind of let it flow like that, and then I'm going to slice it up. And I'm going to come back, y'all. And we're going to test this out and prove to y'all how good it is. So, Blockmas Day 8, almost through. Old school cranberry orange bread or orange cranberry bread, however you want to put it. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, I cut a few pieces of this here. Look at this here. And see how the cranberries didn't sink to the bottom? That's the key of putting the flour on your cranberries, y'all, so it don't sink to the bottom. And like I say, y'all, y'all can do this with, with uh, blueberry, blackberries. Put some nuts in here if you like or whatever. But I just kept it festive. You can put some pecans in here. I just kept it festive, y'all. With just cranberry and orange, it works so well together. Now, the, this end piece, I'm going to leave for Kenna. I know that's Kenna's favorite part, this end piece. So, we're going to move this to the side here. Let me show y'all how moist this is. Let me get a knife here and cut through this. Because I'm not going to eat this whole piece. Cut through that and show y'all how moist that is, number one. Pick this up here and show y'all how moist you can just see how moist it is let me kind of show y'all how moist that is see that how moist that is y'all this and this is so easy mm, mm, mm. it's so easy still slightly warm and it's so easy to make like i say put the flag on in the cranberry so they can you know evenly distribute throughout the the cake Look at that, y'all. Mm. You see the orange glaze and the icing? I mean, the orange zest and the icing. You see the orange zest in the cake? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my God. Absolutely amazing. Put this on your Thanksgiving table. Next to your sweet potato pie. And your 7-up pound cake. It's a fit right in it. Mm. Mm. Your kids can help you make this one. And kids will love it. But anyway, y'all, Barbara's Day 8 in the books. Let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest. And old school soul food .com. Remember the hashtag 2023? You got a few more weeks of it. I need y'all to push that has, hashtag 2023. 2000, uh, help another with a purpose. Old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Blockbuster day eight. Done.